This might be the biggest update since GPT-4. You can now create images within ChatGPT. What OpenAI has done is it's taken Dolly 3 in GPT-4 and it's combined the two together. So you can type in prompts to create completely new pictures or you can have ChatGPT generate the prompts for you. And there are many things that you can do with this Dolly 3 ChatGPT update. You can add text to images, you can change the size of your images. You can easily download these images as well. Now let's jump into ChatGPT so I can go over in depth how to use this new feature. So all you need to do in order to activate this is to hover over GPT-4 and scroll down and select Dolly 3. Now you can generate images in ChatGPT. So we can type in prompts like this, create me a 3D cartoon cowboy riding on his horse. This is letting ChatGPT run with its imagination. You know, you're letting ChatGPT generate that full prompt for you. You can paste in AI image prompts if you would like, but right now ChatGPT will help you generate this prompt in order to try and display what you are asking it. I can send this off. And now ChatGPT has this new box that pops up, Dolly 3, creating images. And this is going to create four completely different results for you, so you can really choose which ones you want. You can see all four of the different prompts right here in the images loading in. As you can see, it generates me these amazing pictures, and it even has words within the image. If we look in the second image here, it says Wild West on the sign, and this is actual text. It's not any of those weird letters or weird words that don't make any sense. Dolly 3 can literally have text in the images now, which is amazing. Now, one thing that's important to know is that if you want to reference an image or if you like an image, the way that these images are numbered are from left to right, top to bottom. So the top left image is one, the top right image is two, the bottom left image is three, and the bottom right image is four. So if you do like an image and you want to modify it in any way, what you could do is this. I like image one, so I'm referencing this top left image here make it be a moon instead of a sun. So maybe instead of the sun in the background here, I want a moon, but I kind of want the elements to stay the same and I want the general picture to be the same prompt used in picture one. So now I can send that off and ChatGPT will make those modifications with Dolly 3. And then it adds that moon instead of the sun. And again, the image isn't exactly the same, but it has the same composition and the same structure. Now, when you want to interact with the images, what you can do is you can click on the image and on the right hand side, you will see the prompt, which you can copy. And then you'll see this image right here that was generated with Dolly 3. In the upper right hand corner, you have the ability to download the image. So you can just hit download. And as you can see, it'll add to your downloads. Now let's say I like this image and I wanna store it somewhere. Well, then I could go to my AI art studio, which I usually used for mid journey, but now I can use for Dolly 3 and ChatGPT. This is where I can store all of my art and I can click into those pictures and see the prompts that I used in order to generate that art. And also where I have 625 mid-journey design components, which I actually will be starting to use for Dolly 3. So I can open these up and I can choose different emotional tones, color palettes, compositions, uh, background and environment subjects, the list goes on. But let's say I wanna add my cowboy on a horse here to my art gallery. What I could do is just to add to gallery. And then for the title here, I can go and copy the prompt that I used, paste it in, and then I can embed anything right here. So what I'm going to do is drag this into here and boom, just like that, we have this image in my art gallery and I can see the prompt that I used in order to generate that image. So that's how I like to organize my images. Now you can use something different, of course. I personally don't like how they're all unorganized on my desktop. I forget what prompts I use to generate the images. So with ChatGPT and Dolly 3, I'm actually going to start using my AI Art Studio with those. Now, if you want the AI Art Studio, you can purchase it using the link in the description or the top pinned comment. Now it is mainly used for mid journey, but you can still organize your art and use all the components in Dolly 3 as well. Now let's talk text. What if I wanna add some text within an image similar to this? Now, obviously I could take this in Photoshop and I could do it that way. But what I wanna do is I wanna keep this same image style. I know it won't generate the exact same image. And I wanna have some text in this image that says the Wild West. Maybe I'm creating a book that's called the Wild West and I wanna add some text to these images. So what I'm going to ask ChatGPT to do is add text to this image that reads the Wild West. I'm going to send that off. And this is what's beautiful about having Dolly 3 and ChatGPT is instead of thinking of all the prompts and stuff on your own, ChatGPT has the creativity in order to generate those images very nicely. And all you have to do is type what you want and ChatGPT will bring that to life. So as you can see, I asked it to add text to this image that reads the Wild West. I sent it off and the text unfortunately did not work the exact way I want it to. Now this is an amazing image though. These letters, the design, the horse jumping over the sign with the hooves of the horse in front of the sign and within the back, it adds a lot of depth. If it could have got this correct, this would have been amazing. So what I did instead was I told it, I love the style, but the words the Wild West weren't typed out right. 
and then it created me a whole new image, but I'm also loving this image just as much as the other one. I like how it's kind of hanging down from the sky. There's this nice platform on the desert, some buildings in the background. And this text is styled very nicely. The image is beautiful. It's amazing to me how this is created completely with AI, and then it can pull in all of these different design elements at your request. Now let's talk resolution. What size does ChatGPT and what resolution do the images produce at? Right now, all we've seen is the box version, the 1024 by 1024. But what we can do is we can actually create vertical images and horizontal images as well. So as you can see, I asked ChatGPT what resolution sizes are available. It says wide, 1792 by 1024, square, 1024 by 1024, and tall, the full body portrait, 1024 by 1792. So what I can do is before I type out my prompt or before I have an image, I can tell it what resolution size I want. So maybe I want this image to be horizontal. What I could do is I can type out, make this image horizontal. I can hit save and submit. And now it will make this image in that 1792 by 1024 format. And again, the image, some of the styling might come out a little bit different, but I just wanna show you the ability to produce horizontal images. As you can see, the text stayed the same, the moon stayed the same, and it just looks like it kind of panned out on this image and it's horizontal now. The horse is facing the other way, but it's a very high quality and well thought out image. Now let's try comparing prompts from Midjourney to ChatGPT. And I wanna show you how you can actually paste prompts into ChatGPT and have it generate based on those prompts. So it's not only going to generate prompts for you, but you can paste one in and generate it at your request as well. So I have this prompt here in Midjourney, low poly pen wireframe, white lines, white nodes, black background, simple low poly. What I can do is I can copy this, and this is the image that that prompt generated. I can head back over to ChatGPT. Then I can start a new chat, make sure that I have Dolly 3 activated, and I can say, make an image based on this prompt. I can paste in this prompt, and then I can send that off. And just like that, it generates a very, very similar image to Midjourney. So here's my Midjourney image. And here's my Dolly 3 image generated in ChatGPT. I also really like how they have this prompt set up here on the right hand side so I can copy it and paste it into my gallery over here. Generated four nice images. I like them all exactly how I wanted it. So that's how to use the new Dolly 3 feature on ChatGPT. If you want to learn even more about ChatGPT, you know, go from A to Z. I recommend purchasing my ChatGPT mastery course and community. I'll leave that link to join in the description or the top pinned comment below, along with the art studio you saw in today's video. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like and subscribe if you did. Also leave a comment below letting me know your feedback. I will see you in the next video.